What up, YouTube? Big Lou tapping back in. But what to do with Big Lou NFCR2, baby, baby. And like I just said on the previous video, on this a little, what do you want to call it, celebration of the Raiders' three game winning streak, uh, I said that I was going to pop another video about Chandler Jones and his breakout game. So, again, this is going to be a short video. Um, so, if those that don't know, Chandler Jones is brother to Arthur Jones and another NFL player. And John Jones, the former UFC light heavyweight champion who is now making a comeback as a heavyweight um, brother. Um, he spent most of his career with the uh, Cardinals and the New England Patriots. Um, hell of a pass rusher. He has well over 100 career sacks. And the Raiders... Um, opted to not re-sign Ignagwe, Ngagwe, and Ngagwe ended up going to the Colts, and the Raiders decided to sign veteran pass rusher uh, Chandler Jones, um, so they signed him for a decent amount of, you know, decent contract for him being a veteran, with, with you know, a 10-year veteran or whatever he is, um, up until today, he only had a half a sack, which a lot of people were considered a bust, a uh, bust, we're pretty much considered him a bust signing, even though that a lot of times on plays, you know, he would be in the mix, but Crosby would get the, you know, Crosby or somebody else would get the tackle or the sack or the stop, you know, for a short run or, a, or, or, or no game. Um, but today he had his breakout game against the Chargers with three sacks. I believe all three came in the first half, but he was involved a lot. Um, he put a lot of pressure. On, on Josh Her Herbert, I mean, I get it. A lot of their guys were injured off the on the offensive line, but hey, it is what it is. When you know, when it comes time to our, our guys being hurt, which majority of the season, you know, Waller's been out majority of the season. You know, he only played, I think, in a couple of games. And uh, Hunter Renthrow missed a lot of games, so you know, when it's you know that excuse don't work for us. So uh, you know, it is what it is. One of them things, man. Where you know your team could be the. Super Bowl contenders or, you know, uh, make it far in the playoffs. But because due to injuries, you end up losing the game and get booted out of the playoffs early. It happens all the time in all sports. So it's one of them things. But today, Chandler Jones got a shine on with three sacks, breakout game, like I said. And hopefully he can uh, continue to play at that high level that he did today. Um, him being a veteran and, and, and having a lot of um, experience and as well as technique to get past that blocker and to put that pressure uh, you know, on that QB, on that quarterback for, you know, on, on the drop back, on uh, hurries, on pressure, on knockdowns, all that stuff. So today definitely was impressed with how Chandler Jones played. Um, you know, again, if you can turn this around the season and start playing more like today, um, you know, we can get past the first 10 weeks or whatever of how he played thus far. And it'd be nice. Again, the Raiders are currently five and seven with five games left. It would be nice if we can finish out the season, these last five games with W's and go 10 and seven and hopefully be able to get in the playoffs. Can you imagine that already on a three game winning streak? If we can win the next five and go into the playoffs, if we can make the playoffs with the eight game winning streak, we'd have a lot of momentum on our side. Um, again, uh, uh, shots out to the, uh, the secondary today. Also, the pass rushers, Crosby and Chandler Jones. Also, the, the, the linebackers uh, with Perryman, starting with Perryman. Um, the offensive line, also the running back, Josh Jacobs, the tail, uh, the fullbacks. Devontae Adams crushed it today. Two huge touchdowns with many yards on his under his belt. Also, he became the first player in NFL history to have three consecutive seasons with seven games or more with 100 yards per game. He just did that today in today's game. So, shots out to the uh, the Raiders organization from top to bottom, man. You know, we're turning it around. Just hope it's not too late, you know what I mean, to make uh, a playoff run, you know. Because, um, like I said, we made it to the Super Bowl when we played Tampa Bay. John Gruden, though, left the Raiders and went to the Bucks, and it was all his play calling that the Raiders kept. And then we made it to the playoffs in 16, but uh, – Carr got injured the second to last game, broke his fibula, and then uh, you know all the momentum and all the all the the lightning energy that the team had, it all died with that injury. And then we lost to Denver the last game of the season, and then we went into the first round against the Texans and lost. Last year we went against the Cincinnati Bengals and lost in the first round, and we lost to them earlier in the season. And then they ended up going on to play in the Super Bowl, um, but coming up short against the Rams. So. 
again, if we can take these three wins here, we got to this so far in a row, and add another five in a row to end the season, I think that'll put us at a 10-7 and seven record, and I'm pretty sure we can get into the playoffs, at least I would hope. And with the eight-game winning streak going into the playoffs, I think the momentum will be massive on our side, hopefully. You know what I'm saying? I know that's a big, a big hope that I'm wishing and hoping because we still got to play the Kansas City Chiefs, which is the last game of the conference, I mean, uh, for our division. We've already beat the Broncos twice, and we split it 1-1 with the Chargers, and we have one more with the Chiefs, which we lost the first one to them and barely lost at that. So we were up 17, I think 17 nothing to the Chiefs in the first game of the season, our first meet. Now we still got to meet them again, and then we have four more games on top of that. So it would be lovely to go into the playoffs if we can get in there with the eight-game winning streak and see what we can do. But shots out to Chandler Jones again for his breakout game as a Raider today against the L.A. Chargers. Uh, the game was at Legion Stadium in Vegas. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I'm pretty juiced about it. As you can see, I'm still sporting my – Crosby jersey. I don't have a Jones jersey, but um, I will be tomorrow wearing uh, probably wearing my Bo Jackson white jersey or my uh, Kenny Stadler jersey. I don't know. We'll see. Who knows? But I'm gonna go out. The rest of the week is gonna be wearing. I'm gonna be wearing Raider gear because again, another week with the W. And the first so many weeks, I didn't wear any Raider stuff because I was disgusted how they were playing. But um, I see a little bit of light now, people. So with that being said, Big Lou, tapping on out. What it do with Big Lou?